hour before the European Open. 6.54 Swiss time. Take a quick look at the markets and what we think is going to happen today. Uh, start with this Aussie chart. We talked about it on Twitter last night about what are the chances that low is hawkish. Uh, and there were no chances of that. And that prices below 70 50 uh, would yield lower prices. We're core short Aussie. Um, Obviously, GDP was the was the big mover, um, but also the fact that low was not uh, at all hawkish. I would say it was neutral, uh, but looks like Aussie lower is the way now. Um, Europeans are going to come in and, and try and sell this in the 40s, uh, so let's keep an eye on this it's a tradable short now we talked about the straddles uh, which were 70 pips on Monday uh, so there will be some Delta down at 70 the figure and we have Aussie retail sales tonight so let's call this a tradable short um, I don't expect a lot of volatility as in I don't think this is gonna bounce around a lot uh, but what you kinda wanna do is sell between 40 and 60 and buy between 30 and 10 uh, rinse and repeat let's talk dollar swiss we missed this yesterday very clean break one to below 20 we were kind of caught sleeping there for the ism number um what can i say looks pretty powerful hourly bar. I know hourly bars are not not what drives FX, but it's also a powerful daily bar now, very small tail. Uh, next point of resistance is 1060. I don't really understand why, uh, and one of the reasons I, I probably missed it is because bonds, you know, rates aren't higher in the U.S., this looks just like dollar strength in general. Maybe it was the euro move, uh, which continued lower heading into ECB on Thursday. Uh, dollar Swiss looks like quietly robust. And when you see a big daily bar like this, it's usually followed by similar bars. Have a look at this bar here, 15th of January. Exactly the same type of bar. Bang. Higher, 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 higher. Four days. Um, is this going to attack the 101 level? I mean, surely. More importantly, is this going to attack uh, the 101.30? And then finally, um, 103.46. It's 3% away, so it's not crazy far. Um, and if we go to our pal Euro over here, we're at the range bottoms here now. 112.20, 112.37. You draw this upward sloper if you wanted to. A lot of people are going to do this. Um, you got Draghi coming up. If this makes a range break on the downside, Dollar Swiss is just going to float. We talked about core long dollar Swiss from Friday, but then we kind of, I don't know, we kind of just got bored with it and traded ourselves out of it up there at uh, 10015. And I, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. I wonder if a lot of people have just, have just did the same. They just got lulled to sleep or didn't add properly through 10020. So even if we kept our core, it, was, it wasn't big enough. Um, to be a proper position, we should have added through 20. We didn't. How many other people uh, are in this boat? And if there are a lot of people in this boat, this thing is going to continue to float higher. So keep an eye on Dollar Swiss. Uh, maybe buy some low ones today. We have very, very little data out of, um, out of Europe today. In fact, we have zero data out of Europe. Kunluf is speaking. He's a Bank of England guy. Nobody cares about that. Um, 
but long dollar Swiss looks like looks like the way. Uh, or if you're you know in the camp we've also been in the last three days, core short euro still seems the way. Um, the next support point is sort of one twelve seventy five. Let's just call the range today 60-30. Um, there probably could easily be a squeeze. Uh, first thing, there's going to be stops above 113.10 for those who sold through 08 last night. So there's easily a squeeze up to 15, 25, maybe even up to 30. Um, taking out some of the weaker shorts. 75 is support. Uh, I don't really see any vicious uh, acceleration points out there or air pockets to trade around. I think this is just a quiet core short uh, in Euro. So core short Euro, core short Aussie, and one last thing, we'll look at these boons. This is very, very interesting, these boons. This was the key point on the way down, uh, 165.85. I'm not recommending a Boone's position going into the ECB. Um, historically, not the best Boone's trader anyway. Um, but you kind of have to watch this level here. See how we trade around this 165.85. This is the 15 basis points. Um, this is very key. And I'll watch it just because it'll help me guide uh, my Euro dollar positioning and my Euro dollar trading. We're trading on the short side in Euro dollar. Uh, we don't want to get lulled to sleep like we did on the dollar Swiss side. So we're watching balloons to give us some clues to see what happens. Again, super quiet uh, in Europe this morning. So we're looking for just muted ranges. But short Aussie and short Euro, core short Euro looked away. One conundrum we have is why um, dollar yen is not going down uh, with the rise in risk. I don't have the answer to that. Uh, the problem here is you're selling into this massive support zone now. 111.30.50 is, is very strong support. I really don't know what to do with dollar yen, so I'm not doing anything with it, but I just wanted to point out this is, uh, this is a confusing pair right now. Volatility is like close to zero. Look at these tiny bars. Uh, and it's not just, it's just not dancing to the normal, to the normal tune. Uh, let's also look at ES. Very quiet day. Indecision. Doji. Inside day. Uh, this chart is delayed. It's 27.85 now. We're on the same bandwagon here. We're core short through structures. Uh, we did not get paid last night at 28.03. Um, we put on some hedges at 27.73. So we're core short, um, tactically trading on the short side. And the hammer goes down through the 200 day, right? And it's a nice round number, 2750. No idea what the catalyst is going to be or if there's a catalyst. Because again, we do think 2820 is going to trade. Even though obviously right now it may not look, la look that way. The bears kind of have a little bit more control here. But like every, uh, every trade, it's never easy. Uh, and so we're keeping our powder dry for 28.20. Hammer goes the down through 27.50. Um, so just watching now. Again, trading, trading this on the short side. Okay, I've said enough today. Uh, core short Aussie, core short Euro uh, is the plan. Looking for a quiet European morning. Uh, check check me on Twitter for further updates as we get into the North American session. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.